All right. So I want to talk to you about something that's happening in Liberia. When it comes to building, but before we do that, let's, let's, let's find somewhere else. It's pretty noisy out here. All right, so it's much quieter in here. So let's talk about building in Liberia and as far as the processes and steps that you need to take to get started with the process. Now, most of us, when we are building in Liberia, we hit up our uncle, auntie, our friend, or somebody else that people recommend, right? And, you know, especially those who are in the diaspora, we're busy, we got family, we got work, so we'll leave everything up to the builder or whoever else recommended, uh, whoever else recommended to us. Now, here's what I'll say. The key few things, these are the two or three most important things that will really get your project up for a success, but also get you a beautiful home. A lot of us are building homes in Liberia now, as we all know. Now, first thing is, right, to, I've seen most people who want to build homes probably already have land. They've already acquired a land. But as a refresher, just in case this is your first time coming on this channel or you forgot, key steps to take from in building homes first thing is acquiring or prior to the first thing this is pre work pre preliminary work is to acquire land and we all know land and buying is one of the most uh, uh tricky things in liberia but yeah a few things right I'll run to that run through them really quickly first thing of course is know the people you're buying the land from second thing is uh inspect the land yourself or if you're not there like with diaspora people have somebody that you trust go and check the land out well, that person should ask people in the area if somebody else is on the land. That person should look around for any signs of people who are there, like Cornerstone or anybody clearing the land, or if the land has been brushed. Things like that gives you a sign that somebody probably had own somebody else on the land, or at least uh, there are other people involved. Things like that. Secondly, spend the extra money, the extra three hundred dollars, four hundred dollars, get a lawyer. You, most of you guys have reached out to me. I've recommended our lawyer we use for our estate and our projects in Liberia. She's really good. One of the top lawyers in Liberia is a family. She and her dad own the law firm. You have to include a lawyer in the land project. If you're buying a land for $500, $300, and maybe way up in the interior, cool. Most people, most of us are buying one, uh, that one, two, three, four, five acres, 10 acres. You're spending a good amount of money. Spend an extra three to five, six hundred dollars Pay a lawyer. The lawyer will walk you through, sign off and everything. Make sure you're good and get the land so that's preliminary work okay let's say you've already done that now the first key thing is one of the major things most people kind of overlook and we skim on right i, I made a post online at other time and somebody made a good some guy, gentleman uh, he made a good argument he said look and i was complaining about how houses look in liberia and he made a good argument he said look there are a lot of people who can do the work in liberia and out of liberia but most of like most of us librarians would like to do cheap things right we want to pay the least amount of money for what we're trying to do so we find somebody who will charge us just a hundred dollars a couple hundred dollars to get our house planned that's the key thing that's why i made a video saying all of the houses in liberia look the same or at least they don't look good they're short old style colombo looking houses the roof is higher than the length of the house itself all of that stuff and all the houses are looking the same and look they don't look good they don't look modern but yeah, that's a key point. So spend that money, guys. That's one of the things you got to spend the money on the most. Spend that money. Most of you guys are spending a couple hundred dollars or somebody's doing it for free or the person is using other people's plan. Spend that money. Just get between five to a thousand dollars, five hundred to a thousand dollars to get you your house plan and your house, your architecture drawing. These are key. There are two types, right? There's just a, a, a 2D drawing that just show how the house is going to look like. Most people, that's what we're getting. You also need an architecture, like a building plan. Basically, that the builders will look at. They will see the dimension. I'll show you guys on the screen. They will see you will see the dimensions of the home and how it's going to look like. The actual drawing, the distances of the room, the measurements. I mean, elevation, all of that stuff will be on that plan. That's what you need. Now, after doing that, of course, you cannot just give that to any subpar uh, builder or anybody a mediocre guy who's just walking around with a hammer in your hand saying you can build. You have to find a good builder. Now, these things get a little tricky. That's why I'm saying there's, there shouldn't be a rush process in building homes in Liberia or go through the right channel. That's why we, and along with other people, have uh, 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 one of the businesses we have in Liberia now is that consultancy where people consult with us. We have a construction company in Liberia um, and we do all of that. We do your 2D, 3D, your building plan, your house model plan, your 3D plan. Uh, we even do your plan of the house, exactly how it's going to look like before they even lay the first break. You get to see in your house before you even start building your house, right? All of these things are not expensive, but they're not cheap, right? So, for example, if you give us, like, let's say $700, we'll do your 2D plan, your 3D plan, your model, the, the, the top-down view model, how your yard is going to look like, right? We're going to do even, like, a video 
a walkthrough video of your home before you even build it based on your plan. So you see and you know you can make those changes before you even lay the first break. But most of us Liberia are just building, they're giving the contract to somebody who just said they can build and they're building a house for us. And we go, we, we don't like certain things. We got to break things down. I've heard so many stories of people breaking things down in their homes and rebuilding stuff like that. So let's go through the right channel. So you, you other things, right? Number one, obviously preliminary work, get you your, your house, your, your land and make sure all of that is good. First thing is to get your architectural plan and drawing and make sure you go through the right channel. I would say save up between 500 to a thousand dollars. That's a good amount of money that you spend to get great quality work that looks good, revision, all of that stuff done. Reach out to me, we can help you with that. We'll have a company that does that, amazing drawings and plans for so many clients, but also you reach out to anybody else. This is not about me and my business as, uh, as, as much. And the reason I mention is because I bring you guys all this information on Facebook, on YouTube. I bring you guys all the recommendations. I want to be able to physically help. I want to be able to actually be able to say, yes, I can do this for you, right? So that's how we establish our company in Liberia and we work with architects there and all over the world. So that's the one thing you do. Or find somebody else, no, ask, ask for recommendation and, and, and look at modern looking homes, right? Get drawings from modern homes. That's number one, a good architecture drawing. Secondly, also is um, be creative, right? In getting your, your, your home, be creative. Uh, meaning, uh, uh, ask your architect, ask the person, the person who is doing your 3D design, your drawings, to uh, get you something unique, right? Build something unique. Let them send that to you, and you'll be like, "We well, you know I've never seen this house before, or at least I've seen this house, but this exact design is new, is unique to me. Do that. Uh, third thing is also to get the building team. That's one of the key part, right? Most of us get our building team from just people saying, oh, this guy can build, this guy can build, this guy can build, right? You need to get a building team that understand your vision. Uh, you need to talk to them, ask them questions, not just somebody who can build it and that's it, right? Ask them questions to make sure they're on the same page as you and make sure they get the vision. So these are the things that you need to do, preliminary work that you need to do that is key in order to get a successful building in Liberia. More videos coming on what project we're working on and other videos in regards to building in Liberia, but these are the key things there. Now I'll put some uh, uh, information down at the bottom. Our website for our house plans, all of that stuff, we're redoing it, so it's not up yet, but you can reach out to me on WhatsApp and things like that. We can discuss how you want to do it, or I can recommend other people who can do the work, or you, if you know other people who does the work, uh, just kind of reach out to them as well. Uh, but yeah, there it is, guys. Some key factors to consider when building in Liberia to make sure your project goes well and to get something modern and unique. All right, I'll bring more videos. Happy uh, whatever day this is. Probably I'll post this on Friday or so, but happy weekend. I'll talk to you guys soon.